Hey everybody, James here from All American Guardian. Tonight I'm going to show you how to keep track of the visitors that are coming to your site. You know, when you first get a website up, or even if you've got an established website right now, you may be wondering how many people are even visiting my site on a daily basis, and how many pages are they looking at, and where did they come from, and all this kind of information, and how many people are returning visitors that have been to my site before, and now they've come back. Well, all of this can be tracked um, using Google uh, Search Console. So um, I do recommend setting up a Google Search Console, but when you're first starting out, that might be a little bit overwhelming for you to go in there, and there's just all kinds of settings and different things. So I'm going to show you something to use for now that is much quicker to implement. It's much simpler to use. And it will still give you at least some data so that you know that you're getting visitors or you're not getting visitors. It's not going to necessarily tell you a lot of information about how the visitors got there other than where they came from. It'll say if they came from Google Search or Yahoo or if they came from Facebook. It'll give you some information like that. In the past, let's say like more than five, six years ago, it would actually um, show you where you were ranking in the search results for the term it would show you the actual term that they used to find your website and and click through from the search results on google let's just say you were a houston plumber and the user typed in houston plumbers and they saw your site listed number seven on page one they clicked on it and, and came to your site this uh tool that i'm going to show you would actually show you that it came that that visitor came from Google using the search term Houston plumbers and that you were ranked number seven on the first page that was awesome data but now Google has changed everything and they're not uh, giving uh, third parties access to that data like that anymore so unfortunately we don't have as much data as we used to with this tool but it's still it's very simple and like I said it's quick to implement so um, I also implement it on all my sites, even though I do have Google Search Console, uh, Google Analytics on my site, because I want a third party other than Google. I want somebody else that I can look at the amount of search volume or the amount of traffic I'm getting to my site and kind of compare that with what Google says I'm getting. Just, I don't know, maybe I don't fully trust Google and I just want... Uh, a second set of eyes besides mine and Google, a third set of eyes, looking to see what that traffic is. <clears throat> so anyway, I've rambled enough. The uh, the uh, tool that I like to use is called Stat Counter. S T A T Counter dot com. Stat Counter dot com. It's free. They also have an upgraded version that I think is around nine or ten bucks a month, but honestly at the beginning you can just use the free version so I'm going to show you how to set that up um, we're about three and a half minutes into this video let's just see how long this takes so I'm at statcounter.com I clicked on sign up on the first page let me just go back I clicked on this is the, the home page right here for stat counter I clicked on sign up just gonna put my name in here and I'm gonna put an email address we're gonna use Let's use James at allamericanguardian.com. Okay, username, allamericanguardian. Password, always make your password strong. Hit create account. All right, it says, welcome, James. Add your first project. So we're going to do our test site that we've been using, allamerican.site. Just fill out a project title. United States is where I'm at. That's my time zone. Email reports. I usually just click on none. I don't really need a report emailed to me. And we're going to go with an, an invisible tracking. So there's a visible counter that you can actually see on your home page that visitors can see as well. I don't like that. Um, back in the day, you know, 2001, 2002 websites, you'd always see a little visitor counter down at the bottom. That was just, I don't know why the people did that. I guess they wanted people to know, hey, my website's got a lot of visitors. Check it out. 
but nowadays that information is kept more private <clears throat> and I really don't want people knowing how many visitors I'm getting to my site so um, I click on invisible tracking uh, let's see I'd like to share my be able to share my stats publicly using a special URL no nope, no thank you so I just click on invisible tracking hit add project and now I am going to click on the default installation guide there's a bunch, bunch of different little guides here that will show you how to install this on different types of, of sites so uh, tumblr uh, what is this one blogger WordPress, Squarespace, uh, this is a Dreamweaver, Google, uh, what is that, Wix, so Weebly, Wix, this is Joomla, GoDaddy, Drupal, and Shopify. I just go to the default installation guide, and we're just going to copy this code right here. You just click on it, hit copy, and that's all we have to do. Now let's go over to our actual website allamerican.site. I'm in the dashboard. This is our test site that we've been using. I'm going to go to the front just to show you. It's that same website that I haven't finished yet. It's just the site we're kind of playing around on where I'm teaching you guys some things. We're going to go to a theme, Themify settings and I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and right here this header code. The following code will add head tag. Add to the head tag. Okay. So we're going to just paste it right in here because we want this in the head, the top, the code that appears at the top of every single page. This is, this is where your title, like your logo and subtitle or, or tagline is on every single page, your, uh, your menu and things like that. The things that show up at the top of every single page of your website, that's the head area of that's the header. So um, that's where we want the script so that when someone comes to your website, that's the first thing that loads. This script will load in the background. Obviously, nobody can see it, but it'll count that visit. And every page that they go to, it'll count every single page that the visitor goes to. So we paste it in here, and we're going to just scroll down and hit save. And there we go. That's all we have to do. So now, if we go back to stat counter, it's going to show our project right here, All American. Um, how many views it's got today, yesterday, each month, the total. And um, you, the good thing about this is once you create an account here on Stat Counter, you can always add more websites. If you've got two or three different websites, you just go to Add a Project right here, Add New Project. And you just put in the information just like we did on the first one and click Invisible Tracking. I usually click No uh, Email Reports, hit Add Project. You're going to go to... Uh, default installation guide and just copy and paste the code over put it in your website in the head in, in the header so um, let me show you on here if we click on if we log into stat counter we click on our website name it's saying sorry no visitors yet so unfortunately we can't really look at the data or anything because I just installed it so there's no visitors but um, I guess what I could do, let me pause the video. I'm going to log into my other stat counter and just show you an example, maybe of one of my client's websites. Okay, so I've logged out of that brand new stat counter and logged in to one where I have multiple websites loaded in there. And this is actually one of my client's websites. Um, I'm not going to reveal what website it is. Um, just for the privacy of my client, I haven't asked for uh, permission to show any of his data. So um, at least this way, we're looking at data, but it basically belongs to nobody as far as um, everyone watching is concerned. So <clears throat> this is what it'll look like after you actually start getting visitors. You can just take a, take a look in here. It'll show you Wednesday the 9th. He had uh, 20 visitors. The green, that's the blue bar, is unique visitors. The green bar is page views. So there was 20 visitors. There was 41 page views, so if you do a little simple math, basically every visitor looked at about two different pages. The orange is returning visitors, so that's he had nine returning visitors. And you can just look at this little bar graph going across and kind of see how, how the week was going. You can click things off if you don't want to see returning visitors, click it off. If you don't want to see unique visits, click it off. You can look at, you know, just customize it to what you want to look at. Also right here, instead of looking at daily, we can switch this over to monthly. And we can see that, you know, he had a little upswing there. 
um, over the past, this is the past month. So um, week one of this past month, of the past four weeks, had a little upswing, went back down, went back up. If we look at, oh, that's weekly. I'm sorry. I clicked on weekly, not monthly. Monthly. Here we go. January, February, March, April, and May. He actually has been kind of coming down. So maybe he hasn't been doing as much advertising or whatnot. But it shows you average monthly page views, average monthly unique visits, 542 visitors a month to a site. Um, what is this? Average monthly first-time visits and returning visits. So there's a lot of cool data in here. And let me see. You can also, on this recent activity, I like to look at all this. And I'm not going to click on these links just because it's going to end up revealing the website that um, that we're looking at. And I don't want to do that, like I said, for obvious reasons. But there's a lot of other extra data that you can get by clicking on each of these links. And so I would encourage you to just um, sign up. It's free. You saw me do it in just like two minutes and install it on your website. Give it a few weeks because obviously you may not. It depends on how many visitors you're getting. If you're getting already, you think you know dozens of visitors per day then after a couple of days you've got some data to look at if your site's brand new you may not really have data to look at for three or four or six months from now um, just depends on how fast you start getting visitors to your website so that's that um, i want to know what your favorite thing is to use to track your visitors on your website so please put it in the comments below and then we can have a little discussion on why you like to use the tool that you use because there's a lot of tools out there and I don't know about everything and I'm sure everyone watching this video doesn't know about every single tool out there to track visitors as well so we can all learn from each other so tell me in the comments below what's your favorite uh, tool that you like to use to track visitors to your website and if you're not using one just go ahead and ask me um, any kind of question you can think of whatsoever um, concerning tracking visitors and I'll do my best to answer that for you until next time take care American Guardian, keeping vigil watch over your business website.